Olivia Person joins us in studio. She went out to Torrey Pines on Friday between the game, between the Falcons and the Rancho Bernardo Broncos. Hey, Olivia. Hey, it was senior week for the Torrey Pines Falcons who took on the Rancho Bernardo Broncos. The Falcons have been all over the map this year, sporting a 3-4 and four record. As for the Broncos, they are 1-6. and six. Let's see who came out on top. Torrey Pines takes the field in front of the crowd and expecting a victory. In the first quarter, Chase Pitwell leads the Falcons on a drive against the Broncos. This run takes them to the 13-yard line. On the next play, Mark Detro finds a gaping hole on the left side of his line to score from 13 yards, making it 10-0 Torrey Pines. Picking it up in the second quarter with Torrey Pines leading 10-0 and the ball on the two-yard line, Mike Ward pitches it to Bill Me Billy Maggs and he scores, making the halftime lead Torrey Pines 17-0. Halftime, Torrey Pines comes out ready to extend their lead, but Rancho Bernardo has other ideas. They open the third quarter, scoring with this 13-yard touchdown pass from Michael Sears to Charles Ensley. The Broncos cut the lead to 17-7. But later in the third quarter, Torrey Pines shows its strength by scoring its final touchdown of the game, giving Torrey Pines a 24-7 victory. The Falcons now own a 4-4 four four record. They'll be traveling to Ramona, who are also 4-4. Four four. As for the Broncos, they will encounter the Westview Wolverines. Rancho Bernardo will attempt to upgrade on its 1-7 season. Record, record back to you at the studio. Thanks, Olivia. Torrey Pines needs to make a strong showing in these last two games to prove to the committee that they deserve to be in the playoffs. Yeah, they have a tough matchup to close the season as they host the second-ranked La Costa Canyon Mavericks at home. Tough we'll game. see how things are going to be playing out.